I want to talk about the media members for a minute. And if they think that they had nothing to do with this, they have absolutely lost their minds. And shame on every one of them that decided to only share out all of the negative news. If you think for a second that sharing nothing but positive cases here and, oh, everything I'm hearing says there's no way we can have a season, and da, 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 that's not the only thing that you heard. You reported the thing that could get clicks, and by doing that, you helped sway the momentum in the opposite direction. And now a lot of you bastards are out there saying things like, well, I told you so. I told you back in March that if we didn't, if the country didn't decide be, to do they this. They all want to be, we live in a world where everybody uh, wants to be right. Nobody wants to do the right thing. They just want to be right. They yeah, want to win. That's what drives me insane. And for some of these asshats, and I won't even name names because you know exactly who they are. But a lot of them I used to respect a whole lot. But if you only share negative sentiments through social media for months and months and months, what did you think was going to happen? I mean, it is just absurd because your opinion can help sway these people. It's not like school presidents don't read the stuff that's going out there. The problem is, Gary, you can shame them. They don't care because they believe they're right. And, and, and that's when the problem. Believe, this is, the one thing that I know for certain is I don't know shit about shit, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm never certain of anything, but these people believe they're certain. They believe they cannot be wrong. In this instance, and they believe they're saving lives. So you can call them any name in the book you want. You can shame them all you'd like. It, they, they wear that as a badge of honor because they believe they're doing the Lord's work in this thing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, but that in lies the problem that we have is everybody immediately thinks their opinion is lock, step, and barrel right. And yeah. it's just not. There's I mean, nuance to every, there's not just nuance to the China problem, okay? A little shot at Kerr, but there's <laughs> nuance to every problem. Yes. That's what makes it a problem. If there wasn't nuance, then it wouldn't be a problem. It'd be something that we'd solve in six minutes. If Jim in the corner can figure it out, then, then, we, then we, it's not a problem. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, let me jump in the chat here. Uh, Darren McArdle jumped in with a, a super chat on YouTube. He said, how do they bubble the NCAA and the NFL? Well, the NFL would be relatively easy. You just kind of do it the same way that the NBA did, only you have to have some place that would have enough fields to be able to handle all of the TV games, right? So you need to have probably eight fields in a certain spot, and then you have to have enough hotel rooms and whatnot. I can, fix the, I can fix the NFL thing now. They just all got to be okay with not staying in five-star hotels. Right now, they take their ass to Tunica. Right now, there are 6,000 empty six thousand empty hotel rooms in Tunica. Now, they're like pushing two and a half stars. Yeah. But there are 6,000 empty hotel rooms in Tunica. There are eight college or JUCO fields. This is not high school fields. And I'll tell you this. We got a couple of high school fields coming down the Olive Branch that are college-level quality. But if you just wanted college and JUCO, you got at least eight to ten within an hour's drive of there. Everybody hop on chartered buses, and they go to and from where they need to go. You got access to plenty of practice facilities. They got nothing but fields out there. Pay them, pay them farmers one year to plow those jokers up, plant some grass. We're all good to go. Bam! Now that fixed it. That's with fixed that's it. with Mississippi. Now you don't get to go to ten. You don't get to be in Orlando. All right, you're not staying in some five star, super deluxe resort in Disney World. All right, it's Tunica, but you can hang out with your boy. We go there are plenty of places to go fishing, plenty of places to go golfing. It'll shut down yeah. the golf course for you. Come on, man. Uh, along with that, I the, think there. I the fixed more realistic, it, Roger. I the, fixed it. The more realistic problem, or not problem, the more realistic solution for a bubble for the NFL would probably be Dallas. Um, because there's a ton more hotels in a in a better spot that's, you know, more better. up to what <laughs> the NFL's talking about. But I'm better than Tunica. <laughs> Anyway, you get my Shame. point. Hey, hey, you got the AT&T Shame Stadium. You. You, got, you got all the practice fields for the Cowboys. You got all the different uh, fields for colleges and whatnot that are around that region. I mean, you got 15 stadiums just right there like within it. 45 minutes. Either way, I'm just tossing it out there. But there's a ton my of different ways better. that you could bubble uh, the NFL. Don't listen to Gary. Bubbling the NCAA is not possible. It, it can't happen. You can't do it. I mean, there's no way to possibly – because there's way, way too many teams – even if you just did the Power Five, there's just too many damn teams. It's not but possible. Hang on, man. Well, we need to just reclassify what a bubble is. If all of these football players 
and all of these training facility guys and everybody bubbled themselves. And we have the facilities for them to do that. We have football only dorms. Like we've got facilities. They can do it on their own campuses. And so every campus becomes its own individual bubble. And then you're going to take private jet and private bus to and from place. How is that not the same thing? And the concept is the exact same. The bus drivers and the, and the jet pilots have to all be within the quarantine as well. Yeah. I mean, I'd, I'd be okay with that. the refs, they get to go stay on one of these campuses. And once once everybody's clean and everybody's quarantined and everybody's done, you don't leave the campus. There you go. Problem solved. So that's, that's, that's the bubble solution. Uh, would mainly be for each campus or each school to quarantine themselves. Each school would have to bubble themselves. Yep. And it's, it's all whether or not they can do that with well, college they can, football players. They just don't want to. Well, it, it, the whole thing is, I guess, optics. And we don't care about optics, but a lot we of these school presidents do. Um, anybody who's arguing optics has ran out of good arguments. Yeah, agree. Well, it just looks bad. So, wait a minute. It's a great solution, but it looks bad? It just looks, well, otherwise, it just looks why, bad? Why wouldn't they do it right now? I mean, it... Right? I mean, it, we get the point. Well, I, think, yeah. I think part of the problem why. is I don't have an answer. Because they're idiots, Gary. These <laughs> people, a, these people the are about. not invested in problem solving. It takes too much brain matter for them to think about all of the troubles that they would run into with that. And then, okay, so now we have to fix this. And now we have to fix that. Okay, so we have to get food in. We have to food, food out. Who's bringing the food? How do we make sure the food's safe? Okay, yeah, like you have to actually troubleshoot all of this stuff. And nobody wants to do that because that's work. These Power that's Five right. schools these, we don't, have these people don't get paid to work. These these Power Five schools have eighty different assistant ads on the campuses that are supposed to be working, and Listen, we can't come up with any kind of. Those guys are all bag men. Other than that, they're less than useless. Damian Estrada jumps in. He said, uh, "Question: If college football, uh, yeah, excuse me, college football cancels the season, what would that mean for the Heisman and the NFL draft?" Uh, it would change well, the nothing. Heisman don't mean nothing. Yeah, the Heisman would not happen. The NFL draft, however, would continue on as if nothing actually changed. Damn I mean, straight. Yeah. The NFL Sell, stops for uh, nobody. Bill Belichick would be selling every draft pick he has. Yeah. Because he's going to say, I don't trust kids that don't play football. I'll take my chances with other guys. Yep. Uh, Michael Fritz said, Power 5 teams should have an opt-in or out and start a season. That may be where a bubble could work. Uh, and then Michael said, the media members 100% cause and drive this. Matt Miller said, it's funny that not paying the athletes isn't what is going to get the NCAA axed. It's probably going to be a pandemic that they didn't come up with a plan. Um, Matt Miller said, also, screw Pat, 40, Pete the Hamill, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, Michael said, the combination of these idiots in the media and presidents with no spines equals no college football. And then Brad's crazy life said, just bubble the SEC, add four teams in Atlanta, and let's play. Damien said, I don't see why it's very important to have sports and entertainment to distract us from what's happening around us when we need a change in the world for the future. Um, and Damien said, for a better future. And then Matt Miller said, how come Joe Schmo can go to economics without a test inside when football players who get tested every day can play a game outside? Uh, and then Matt Miller said, Damian Estrada, uh, go read some statistics. And then Michael, of course, jumps in. Damian, you obviously don't care about the mental health of people. That's the other side of this, right? The mental health. It, we talk constantly about the need for these Sending, athletes we've talked about this to have over structure. Over. Sending these guys home is not going to be good for them. And even if you don't send them home, they are still more safe mm-hmm. Inside of, of their little football bubble, which all of them technically have for the most part. But if you just send them back into the general campus population and they've got no incentive, I mean, if there's no season, there's no reason for them not to go to parties. There's no reason yep. for them not to no. go do all this stuff. They I'm can end up getting them sick. This is not gonna and then they're not being ball. tested. Like, it's and, yeah. so frustrating. So yeah. frustrating. It's, it's not going to end well for these guys. No, it's it's really not. It's really not. All right, let's uh, let's move to the last topic of the day, and.